I didn't go to the trouble of bringing you here just to discuss the ethics of my work. Ethics? Don't be such a hypocrite. Your past is littered with the mutilated results of your unethical experiments. I had all I could take of that cat in our university days. Am I expected to abandon my research because of the side effects on inferior species? Are you prepared to abandon walking in case you squash an insect underfoot? We have been waiting for this momentous visit for so many years. You were the man who brought Paradise Towers to life. The visionary who dreamed up its pools and lifts and squares. And now you have returned to your creation. You will make all those dilapidated lifts rise and fall as they've never done before. All signs of wall scrawl will disappear from the corridors of Paradise Towers. The floors will gleam, the windows will shine, and all will be made as new. Fellow caretakers, you know who this is. This is the great architect returned to Paradise Towers. Bid him welcome. All hail the great architect. All hail. All, all hail, hail the, the great, great architect. architect. What should we do with him now then, Chief? Kill him. You know about life, Gavrock. You deal in death. Lies, treachery, murder are your currency. You promised life, but in the end, it will be life which defeats you. You have said enough. You have traversed time and space to find the Shimmerland Queen. I will not be defeated. As you will. I came here under a white flag, and I will leave under that same white flag. And woe betide any man who breaches its integrity. Let's step aside. Release those prisoners. Gavrock, it's over. You're finished. And we're leaving. Actually, I think I may have gone a little too far. I'm beginning to feel a rather cosy, warm sensation in my money pouch. Lay one finger on the dragon bilge bag and I'll rivet your kneecaps together. ETRs, anti-tank rockets. Yes, sir. Will these things be any good against the Daleks? Not the Daleks we're after. It's the Transmat. All right. Come on. Come and say hello. Hello. Perfect. Who's the gun? Yes, I imagine he will. You like guns, don't you? This is a specialised weapon. It's designed for roof duty, designed for long range. I've never used one up close before. Let him go. No! No. In fact, let him come a little closer. So you are. Why? Scared? Why should you be scared? You're the one with the gun. That's right. And you like guns, don't you? He'll kill you. Of course he will. That's what guns are for. Pull a trigger, end a life. Simple, isn't it? Yes. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yes. A life killing life. Who are you? Shut up. Why don't you do it then? Look me in the eye. Pull the trigger, end my life. No. Why not? I can't. Why not? I don't know. No, you don't, do you? Throw away your gun. Now, this was once the estate of the uh, infamous Lady Painford in the 17th century. Lady Painford? But at a florist, we've seen a woman in 17th century dress today, firing arrows at us and at men of silver. Shut up. Wait, I'll cover this place. My mother will destroy you. That would be you and me, Morbid. I'm getting a little tired of hearing about your mother. Hey, so you haven't been tampering. It was an accident. Oh, my work could be ruined. That's my girl. Ah, the sound of dying. When it comes to death, quantity is so much more satisfying than quality. The final Don't interrupt me when I'm eulogizing. Where is the Time Lord? Time Lord? The one you call Doctor. I had him shot. I can see you've never been handicapped by great intelligence. It's the law of the jungle now, mate, isn't it? Hmm. Now, there's two blokes, right? In a tent. In the jungle. You've got another one for me, ain't you? Go on, then. Now, right, go on. Right. It's really dark, and I hear this terrible noise outside the tent. This terrible roaring noise. And the one bloke turns to the other bloke and he says, Do you hear that? What? 
I said, did you hear that? Oh, right, yeah. That was a lion. And the other bloke, he doesn't say anything. He just starts putting on his running shoes. <laughs> the other bloke turns to him and says, what are you doing? You can't outrun a lion. The bloke turns to him and says, I don't have to outrun the lion. <laughs> don't get it. He doesn't have to outrun the lion. Only his friend. And then the lion catches up with his friend and eats him. The strong survive. The weak are killed. The law of the jungle. Oh, yeah, very clever. Yeah, it's very clever. You don't mind losing your friend. But what happens when the next lion turns up? What next lion? <laughs> Welcome to a Christmas scene. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. Madam, what year is this? Here's what our cameras in Hawaii I love humans. Well, We're always seeing patterns in things that aren't there. Where are we going? Back of the ship. Why? Because the front crashes first. Think it through. Say hello to the spikes of doom. <laughs> Say hello to the sofa of reasonable comfort. Ah, you must be the aliens. I've heard so much about you. It's been a long time since anyone's screamed at me, and then I think they were only waiting for Elvis to come on. But my poetry went down tremendously. <laughs>